Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is very miserable, rainy, perfect day to go and have a little mooch around some stores. Steve is gonna come with me. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go have a look around some stores. We're gonna head out to Home Sense first. We have a couple of little secret Santa presents to get because we've got a Christmas meal next week so we're gonna try and find something there. So I haven't had a chance to go and have a full on look around HomeSense for quite some time. I've gone in and had like a little mooch here and there but not a full on look. So I'll take you guys with me. The last time I went to HomeSense, I picked up that little ceramic Christmas tree which I put in the fireplace which we absolutely love. So yeah, secret Santa presents we need to get. Just have a little look and yeah, we'll just take you guys with us and show you what's in store. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl?
was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy Right guys, we have just gotten back, had a bit of lunch. We're about to watch I'm a Celeb, we need to catch up on it. And I thought I'd quickly show you the bits that we got from HomeSense. Pretty successful trip, wasn't it, Steve? Yeah, it was good. We actually spent more than we thought we were going to, but it's all good stuff. Cool. Um, I'm gonna show you the secret Santa presents that we got and hope that the receivers aren't watching this. Um, so one of them, I got is they had loads of they had some really good like gift stuff in there some of it was a little bit like tat but some of it was actually really really good they had loads of these like plant kits and I found this one it's like a bonsai tree that comes in like a little ceramic kind of pot really cute so you can grow your own bonsai tree which I think would be per perfect for the person that we're giving it to that one's 10 pounds and then the other secret Santa present we got I'm actually a little bit jealous and kind of want this myself. So it's a gift set of like a teacup and a saucer and a little infuser there, but it's really cute. Like they did these in beige as well, but I thought this blue was really nice. This is actually Steve's secret Santa gift, not mine, but I definitely got involved with the picking. Um, so yeah, it's like a nice kind of modern like teacup set type thing. And that was eight pounds. Um, with a cute little diffusery bit there and he got her a little something extra as well from another store we got like a little chocolate thing um, so yeah those were the main things that we kind of went in for um, another thing that I saw you guys know I'm obsessed with like chopping boards and especially home sense ones they always have really good ones and they always have loads of marble ones but I saw this and I just thought this stone was really, really unique. It's like really nice detailing on it. It's kind of like a greyish color. They have these in kind of white marble as well. Um, this was only six pounds, which I think is really, really good. Um, it's natural marble. It's got the little like feet on the bottom. So you could use this as like a serving platter or a cheese board or whatever, or just decorative. Love the kind of like organic shape. And it's got like a little leather tab so you could hang it if you wanted. Um, so yeah, I thought that was an absolute barg. I also have a bit of like a fetish for mugs and stuff. Um, I don't know why, like mugs are like my pick me up. 
um, especially like in winter when it's all miserable and cold outside I always like treat myself to mugs literally wherever I go um, to have like a nice warm drink in and stuff and I saw this one checks are really like in right now um, and I really like this kind of dusky purple one they had these in green as well I think and they also had really cute ones with like smiley faces um, this is five pounds it's a really good size so yeah I got that as like a little a little treat and one thing I always check is that they're dishwasher and microwave safe which this one is another thing that we kind of weren't looking for but is going to be really useful we are hosting Christmas again this year and we saw this dish they had loads of amazing like serving dishes they had a lot of Christmas themed ones which I do think are really really cute but we always say every year like is there any point just getting stuff that you can only use for like one month of the year so we tend to buy stuff that we could just use like all year round um this one is from a brand called villa stoneware they had loads of like similar stuff to this as well they also had these in gray and black but we went for this one hopefully you can see but it's got like this really nice kind of speckled like a warm speckle to it so it's not just like a flat white it's kind of like a beigey speckle vibe um so yeah made in portugal looks really cute and i love like the design of the handles and stuff it's that really nice kind of like modern vibe um anyway it's quite big so it'll be really good for like serving stuff and it's obviously like oven safe and everything as well this was 13 pounds it's kind of tempted to actually get more um but we just got one for now and the last thing I got, um, I wanted to get something Christmassy. Um, and basically, like, I didn't film doing our Christmas tree this year because, to be honest, it's been the same for the last however many years. We have said that next year we are probably going to do, like, a little bit of a refresh, invest in a really good quality Christmas tree because ours is a bit of a cheapy one. Um, and I think we'll, like, splash out on getting some, like, nice new ornaments as well. Um, but I think we're just going to do it in one hit next year. And I saw loads of Christmas stuff and I was like, oh, there's no point. Let's just do a refresh next year. But one thing, I wanted to get like something festive. So I treated myself to this. It's a Christmas throw. Um, so I don't normally buy stuff like this because again, like, I just don't really see the point when it's just Christmas. But I couldn't help. So it's like a really nice kind of chunkyish knit throw that has these little embroidered christmas trees on it i don't know if it's called embroidered it's like they're like tufted um it's quite a big throw oh i can't really show you properly um and it's got these little tassels on the end as well but i thought it was like nice festive christmassy it doesn't just have to be christmas because they're obviously just like kind of pine trees so we can use it more like autumn time as well and like January, February, we'll probably just keep it out because it's not like specifically Christmassy. I think it's just more wintry. Um, but yeah, I feel like that will bring me a little bit of joy in my life. So that was 25 quid, which I don't think was too bad. It feels really good quality. Um, yeah, love it. I also saw a rug in there I really, really, really wanted, but it was too small. They had like a really nice kind of neutral tufted rug, which had a kind of like check pattern on it, which I actually thought it would have been perfect for our lounge. So I was really tempted, um, but yeah, it was too small. They had loads of good stuff in there though, like loads of the usual baskets, chopping boards, like really nice kind of decorative things. They had really nice wooden stools or loads of them, um, like little mini stools and they're all about 16 pounds. And I thought they'd be the perfect kind of like little decor accessory, like next to the bath or something like that. Um, so yeah, definitely worth going in and checking out that kind of stuff. It was very confusing because they shifted literally everything around to make space for the Christmas stuff. Um, and actually every year I normally find that the Christmas stuff normally goes really early and there is some in store but not the good good stuff but there was still loads of really really good stuff in store so it's definitely not too late um, if you are looking for some more kind of like Christmas decor accessories. We also popped into Sainsbury's um, and looked at some of their home stuff like Habitat as well. I have filmed that as well it's in a separate video so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because that will be coming up next but hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite item was 
the oven's just going off for Steve's lunch. Um, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.